Hello and welcome to Thai Tuesday. Today we're going to go over the escort. Uh, it is the most closely related um, item to a cravat, which is the ancestor of the modern Thai. Uh, it was made popular by uh, Bertie, which is King Edward VII. Learned it growing up in a colony. Uh, and uh, he made it popular uh, because of the royal escort, which is a horse race, so it's like a part of the day dress. Uh, so the the casual escort, which I am wearing, is still in existence. You can see some formal escorts in English weddings at points, uh, in old movies and stuff. Uh, they're actually uh, stiffer and they're worn more like a tie uh, with a little uh, tie pin. Uh, we could go over if uh, someone needs to learn more about it. Uh, let me know. Uh, so, all right, we'll we'll get started. So this is, I'm gonna show you a traditional knot for an escort uh, today. So I've already tied it. This is what it's supposed to look like. So let's start again. All right. So it has pleats in it, you would notice, and the pleats go around the neck. And then you have uh, like something like a handkerchief. It's pretty soft, usually made of silk. So you make sure your pleats are on the neck. Uh, your right side should be a few inches longer than your left side. Your right side goes over and then under the left side and then over again and then it goes from underneath out through the loop around your neck and you pull it out and then you adjust it uh, make it a little thick like wider on top and then you tuck it in and you could have it the sides popping out or you could tuck the sides in, it depends on your preference. And you could have as many buttons as, as you want open, make it more risky. Um, so uh, that's how you tie a traditional knot for an escort. And make sure when you tie, uh, when you have it around the first time, it's, it's a little snug uh, because that's how it holds the, uh, the shape. Uh, so I also got a few comments about my hair. Currently it's under construction, so if I can't make a sign, like put a sign in there, it's under construction, I'm growing it out. Uh, my girl likes it that way. So, but, but as you guys have commented on my hair, uh, I am going to start doing some product reviews of the products I like and I dislike. Uh, today we're going to go over a product I dislike and this is one of the first products I bought. It's called the Axe Matte Wax. So this is the messy look. The, it, you can find it at Target or Walmart uh, about $7. Um, the reasons I don't like it. I have a funny story behind it as well. Uh, but. Uh, it doesn't have a good hold, uh, number one. Number two, uh, it smells like a teenage boy. So it has a masculine, musty kind of smell. Uh, I, I, I don't like it, uh, but I mean, everybody uh, has their own preferences. Uh, but yeah, another funny story now, funny story. I bought this product, I recently cut my hair off. Uh, I had much longer hair. And I was like, okay, I'm gonna try this product out uh, to make my hair more, uh, give it more texture, make it like stand up a little bit. And uh, bought this uh, from Walmart. Uh, I was traveling, so I went to a hotel room, my hotel room. Uh, and I took three fingers full of this stuff and put it in my hair. Do not do that. Uh, <laughs> One finger full is enough. 
So let's let's just put this product on so that you guys could see uh, my hair right now. I just put a little bit of uh, um, like a mousse. I can I, I'll talk about it next time. Uh, so that much product is is enough. Uh, so let's just put it in while I talk. Um, so you put it in your hands. You warm it up. It breaks the product down. Uh, works better on your hair. Uh, anyway, so I put three fingers full while I'm at the hotel. And now I have a roller brush and the roller br brush gets stuck in my hair. So now I'm panicking. I'm like, I don't have much hair left. All the hair is on my like top of my head and literally it's like stuck to the hairbrush. So what do I do now, right? So I put a little bit on the sides too to hold it down. Uh, so what do I do? Uh, next thing you know, uh, my DoorDash arrived with food downstairs and I was like, oh my God, now how do I go? Uh, what do I do? Uh, panicking, I mean, I can't, I tried to pull my hair out. That didn't work, don't do it. Uh, so uh, I wanted to cut it off, but that would look really ugly for a really long time. Uh, so these products, most of a hair products are actually water soluble. So if something like that happens to you, put your head under the sink and it works. So I got, I had like a bunch of, uh, wet hair and going in all directions, but I was able to go get my DoorDash. So I did not sleep hungry that night, folks. All right. Well, I hope you guys are enjoying your week and, uh, happy Tide Tuesdays, folks.